Right, let's pretend Sasha new to training and she doesn't know the weight cue. I'm gonna show you what to do from the start, okay? There she is on her mat. <laughs> what do you need? You need your training mat, don't you Sasha? And food, treats, food, whatever you like. I've got the Pets Tucker again, okay? Weight means I need you just to be patient, wait there, something is coming for you. I'm gonna ask you to do something else or allow you to do something else in a short time. Um, it's all my interpretation of what these are too, by the way, so you know, trainers are different. Um, basically, we want our dogs to have a bit of patience. We don't want them jumping up and grabbing stuff. So if we can get them to, you know, wait to go to eat their dinner, um, wait to get into the car, wait to get out of the car, wait to go through the door, um, you know, wait for me because I'm just on the phone, I need a few minutes. Um, by now you're now on the mat and whether you put your dog into a sit or a down, lay down, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now, this is what I'm using for weight. Literally it's just pointing Okay, so we use this saying, you know, um, onto your mat. When we go down, we're doing the same thing as that pointing finger, okay? Now we're lifting it up and giving them a weight. Not this, this is stay or stop. Sasha, wait. Okay, what generally is gonna happen is as soon as you start walking away, your dog's gonna follow you. Okay, so we'll pretend that that's what Sasha would do if I said wait, okay? So what I would like you to do then is literally just go, wait, turn around, turn back around, yes, reward. Okay, pretty easy. Because what we're doing there is we're breaking that eye contact. Sasha, sit. Not a roll, come on, up. What? What is this? I didn't ask you to roll. So this is why I'm saying, here, good girl, Sasha. Um, we do a turnaround to start off with, okay? Wait, turn around. Yes, mark, reward. Again, wait, turn around, take a step. Mark, reward, yes. Okay, then we're gonna start getting further and further away. We might take a couple of steps. They haven't moved, come back. Yes. Don't force it. Don't go, oh, I've made it four steps. They haven't moved yet, let's make another one. No, 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 for the first week, two, three steps, just keep it simple. Let them get it, okay? Um, and if she moved, I would just reset, put it back into the mat, back into a sit or a down, ask it away again and reset. You keep trying. Remember, what are the three fundamentals, okay? What are the three fundamentals, okay, for training? What are they, Sasha? Patience, repetition, and knowing what a dog is trying to tell us, okay? Right <laughs> now, she's just giving me the look like, I'm so bored, Dad, to let me do this. Wait. What's that little bit of tone in there, bit of authority, okay? We turn around, we do a few steps. We come back, we mark. Yes, we reward, all right? Then the important thing is set a goal of at home. So we've got no distractions here. Well, just maybe if somebody go past the window. So my goal is going to be to go into the bedroom there and go out of sight. Sasha, wait. You know, this, this might take me a whole week of doing it in uh, view of it. Yes, before we reach that point, okay? But that's my goal there. Then it might be to go to the front door. Sasha, wait. Might be to open the front door. She doesn't move. Fantastic. Yes. Mark reward. If she can still see me at that point, I can give her the hand signal from a distance just to reinforce that. Okay? Open the door. Stepping out. Right. 
see me there? From there I'm giving her the hand signal once again. Yes, mark reward. And don't forget you can drop the treat on the ground or give it directly to the mouth, whatever you like, okay? Pretty easy, yeah? Isn't it, Sasha? <laughs> the important part is, then you've got to think of all the different environments you're going to ask your dog to do this. Where do you want your dog to wait? Well, I want my dog to wait in the car, so when I open the car door, my dog just doesn't jump out. So practice in the car. Put the mat in the car in the back seat. Do the same thing. Hang on. Ask it to wait. Go to open the door, okay? She's moving you ready, close the door. Go to open the door. Okay, you're asking to wait again, all right? Practice there, practice with the car in the garage, maybe. Yes. Backyard, practice in the backyard. Practice in the front yard with a leash on. No problems with that, okay? We want them to be safe. Go to the local park, and of course, you know, that's why we go to Bunnings and Westfield and, and train stations and places like that. But I wouldn't go to one of those places until you've done a few weeks at home mastering this every step of the way, okay? The you can try when you're doing the weight is to actually call them off the mat, okay? So we're not doing a free word or anything like that. We're not doing stay. So Sasha, wait. Touch. Take your time. <laughs> yes. And Sasha, on the mat. Wait. Touch, touch. <laughs> okay. On the mat. I'll well, just wait for you, miss. On the mat. Wait. And call her for the recall again. Sasha on your mat. Wait. Touch. Sasha, touch. Okay. Good job. 